Sultanate of Oman is an Arab state that have demonstrated an impressive leap in development in the 20th century. Oman has a millennium history, but its modern form is entirely a merit of the current ruler, Sultan Qaboos, who came to the throne in the 1970s. This period Omanis themselves call Omanis Renaissance. Existed for centuries agricultural crops, sailing, sea fishing, and even the presence of oil didn't give the country an opportunity to go forward. Just ascended to the throne, 30 years old Qaboos bin Said announced immediate extensive program of transformation. Country was beginning to diversify its economy, expand production with a particular interest in innovation and technological development, including oil and gas industry. Program Persona Grata had an exclusive interview with the Deputy Minister of Oil and Gas of Sultanate of Oman, Salim al Aoufi. Production in Oman started in the late 60s. Very slow production at the beginning because the discovery, uh, Oman geology is very difficult and it was not very easy to find oil in the deserts of Oman. After the discoveries in the Gulf region, of course, we started looking very ag aggressively for, uh, for, for oil reserves. The initial attempts were not successful and we almost thought there would be no oil in Oman until on the second attempt with the Shell uh, International of course they managed to discover oil in the interior of Oman in the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, first production started at about 1962, very slow production, uh, followed by another discovery again in central Oman and uh, another discovery later on in, uh, in uh, southern Oman and so on. So production started ramping up. The initial phase was discover and produce. And then, of course, we started importing technology in Oman. So in the 80s, we introduced the horizontal drilling and also introduced the multilateral drilling. So we started expanding the drilling campaign. Uh, later after that, we started the water flood, so the secondary recovery. And now we're already doing tertiary recovery, enhanced oil recovery, polymer injection, steam injection, and so on. So we capitalized a lot on technology, particularly from the States and Europe, but we bring technology wherever it's available. We ensure that knowledge is transferred into Oman, and we ensure that wherever technology is available that help Oman production, we go after it and import it. And of course, now we are developing technology in Oman itself in order to enhance oil production. Our plateau production uh, is about 980, 950,000 barrels. That's the maximum we got to. Then in the early 2000, we started dropping significantly. Then we went back again into the reservoir and started introducing more aggressive management of existing reservoirs. Old reservoirs, old production, we went back again, we started reworking the wells, spent a lot of attention, a lot of time doing well and reservoir management, and now the production is up again to 950, 970,000 barrels of oil. We think we can continue at the 950,000 barrels for the next 10 to 15 years. What we do on an annual basis, we spend a lot of money on exploration so that we can replace the annual volume produced year after year to maintain the same reserves and to ensure that we can actually sustain a plateau production of about 950,000. It's very expensive because Oman geology is very difficult compared to the Gulf states, but probably the hardest. We have primary production, we have secondary in terms of water flood, we have tertiary, steam, gas, miscible gas, polymer, we have chemical injection. So practically everything that you can think of is available in Oman.
Oman today is an attractive destination for investors due to many factors such as geographical location, political stability, free market, development of infrastructure and communications, and mineral deposits. Growth of investment attractiveness of the country contributed a lot to the Sultanate participation in economic organizations, including Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf, Association for Regional Cooperation, Indian Ocean countries, the World Trade Organization, as well as close relationships with countries around the world. We're blessed because uh, we have imported a lot of technologies, we developed a lot of thinking here in Oman. We think today we are ready to start exporting all that knowledge elsewhere. In fact, when I was in Kazakhstan in May of last year, we offered to extend Oman services to Kazakhstan to look after the matured fields. We think we have the knowledge, we have the know-how, we have the techniques to be able to uh, maximize the production from matured fields and uh, we're more than happy to come and invest in Kazakhstan if there is an opportunity to do so. With regards to the relationship Oman has with other nations, of course in the Gulf states we are very close. We work together, we share a lot of uh, best practices, but uh, our, our geology tends to be a little bit different. Uh, our geology is more complicated. Uh, we produce a lot of water. In some cases, we produce 98% water for 2% of oil. So the, 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 the techniques we apply are completely different. The rest of the Gulf states, they're not there yet. We are into enhanced oil recovery. The rest of the Gulf states, they are still at the early stages of enhanced oil recovery. Although we share information, but we, we feel we're, we're, we're a little bit different. Uh, with Europe, we exchange a lot of technologies. Uh, we exchange a lot of know-how. We have a lot of expats, European expats, working in Oman, hand in hand with Omanis, doing development, doing uh, transfer of knowledge, uh, bringing in new ideas, new technologies, and so on. We are collaborating very well with the US, we're collaborating very well with Canada, depending on wherever there is technology, we normally go after it. Uh, we seek uh, uh, material and technology from China, uh, wherever possible. So we actually have an open policy. Everywhere there is a technology, everywhere there is a new material that we think will help Oman oil production, we go for it. Uh, we have no uh, limitations in terms of where we can go. We are now at a stage where we think we have developed the oil industry in Oman to an extent where we can start exporting that knowledge, exporting that uh, expertise and also services that were developed locally to, uh, we can export it globally. Some companies uh, are already outside of Oman doing services in the Gulf and outside of the Gulf. Oman Oil is available in Kazakhstan. Uh, Mohamed Barwani uh, Group is also available in Europe. They just bought a company in, uh, in, in Norway. Uh, I know some of the Omani companies operating outside as well, providing services. So we are ready to expand outside Oman. After 45 years or so of production, we think we can now start venturing outside. Gas production started in the uh, early 2000. That's the first export of gas. Uh, we're exporting LNG to Korea, to Japan. Uh, we're exporting to any other place that actually buys spot gas uh, cargoes from us. But we have long-term contracts with Spain. We have long-term contracts with uh, Korea, as I mentioned, and also uh, with Japan. These are the primary consumers of our LNG uh, and that's about 40% of what we produce. The remaining 60% is consumed locally for power, for industries, for enhanced oil recovery back again in the oil field uh, and so on. We need a lot of gas and we are exploring for gas continuously. Uh, we're blessed that uh, our exploration efforts are uh, successful so far and uh, we hope that we continue to do so. We are now embarking on unconventional gas exploration and unconventional gas production. Our first unconventional production 
started in 2014 with Oman Oil. Uh, in one of the fields they've got here in Oman. Uh, we think we can expand that technique, so we can expand our exploration efforts and production from unconventional gas uh, for the rest of Oman. We think we can develop techniques and expertise that will also allow us to go outside our borders, similar to the oil story. So we're quite hopeful. I think the, uh, the, the, the oil and gas industry in Oman is uh, is a successful story we like to share. Uh, it certainly uh, uh, helped develop the nation since the 60s until today. We think oil and gas uh, will continue to have uh, a major role to play in the revenue that Oman gets. Uh, although there is a drive to, of course, diversify and reduce dependency on oil and gas, but for the coming few years, I think oil and gas will still dominate the, uh, the economy in Oman. Basis for development of fruitful cooperation between the Sultanate of Oman and our Republic was founded in 1997 with the first official visit of the President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev to Oman. With regards to our relationship with Kazakhstan, I think we enjoy a very good relationship with, uh, with Kazakhstan. We were the first Arab country to uh, recognize Kazakhstan's independence, first Arab country to open uh, an embassy in, in, in Kazakhstan and we continue to enjoy a very good relationship. The visit of uh, uh, the Kazakhstan Sultan to Oman uh, certainly is, uh, is uh, opening a lot of doors. Uh, the presence of the Kazakh ambassador here in Oman is also helping to uh, uh, concrete that strong relationship. Uh, I think Kazakhstan offers a lot of opportunities uh, for Romani industries and for Romani business. Oman is also offering a lot of opportunities for Kazakhstan's businesses and I would like to see the two nations get closer in terms of commerce, exchange of uh, businesses and ideas. Uh, I think there is a lot we can offer to each other. Uh, we certainly see the opportunities. We are more than happy to step in and start investing. Uh, what we'd like to see, of course, is more uh, concrete and, and, and well-documented uh, investment regulations in Kazakhstan so that it actually protects foreign investment. Uh, we think there is a lot has been done. Uh, certainly from my last visit in Kazakhstan, I was assured that a lot will continue to be done. We quite. Uh, uh, helpful, uh, we're quite hopeful that that will actually allow us to invest even more in Kazakhstan. Uh, my participation in the uh, Astana Economic Forum last year was very fruitful. I think I enjoyed uh, the interaction and the networking. The program itself was very rich. Uh, the uh, topics that were discussed are uh, very close to our hearts. We certainly learned a lot. Uh, I had also an opportunity to, uh, to meet with the Kazakhstan Energy Minister. Uh, we changed some of the ideas. Uh, I think that was very fruitful. Uh, we participated in the economic forum itself in different events. Uh, the feedback that I got, and certainly the feedback that I also have, is very positive. Uh, would we participate again? I think yes. Uh, we definitely will. Uh, we need to be a little bit more focused in terms of the areas. Last year, we only focused on the energy. I think the Economic Forum was more than just energy. It was energy and environment and agriculture and uh, fisheries and so on. Uh, so we will certainly bring the right uh, organization from Oman to participate in the Economic Forum over and above the energy sector because I think there's a lot that we can, we can learn. Uh, from the Energy Forum in, in Kazakhstan. Oman Oil, of course, invests in Kazakhstan. They've been in Kazakhstan a uh, long time back. In fact, uh, they participated heavily in the uh, oil pipeline, which later on they sold, but they still have two fields where Oman, is, uh, Oman Oil is uh, a shareholder. They like to develop these fields further. They like to start producing from these two fields. Uh, there was, of course, an idea that Oman Oil will open an office in Kazakhstan so that it 
look, looks after the interest of Oman oil in Kazakhstan. I think that idea still exists. And maybe under the current circumstances with oil pricing, this will slow it down a little bit. Uh, but our investment in Kazakhstan still holds. We're working with Shell, we're working with other uh, shareholders to see how we can bring the two fields together and develop them jointly. Uh, we think that we can uh, offer a lot to the development of these two fields. Oman Oil is definitely interested, not only in these two fields, but also in other opportunities. As I mentioned, uh, Oman Oil or any other uh, oil company in Oman, they are interested in going after the mature oil fields in Kazakhstan and help maximize the production from similar to what we did in Oman, we would like to export it. So with Oman Oil opening an office in Kazakhstan, I think that will facilitate further the transfer of knowledge and technology and expertise between Kazakhstan and Oman with regards to the oil and gas uh, exploration and production. Today it is difficult to believe that once Oman was in isolation, that have not been represented in any international organization. Under the leadership of progressive leaders, Sultanate was able to build and continues building effective and mutually beneficial relations with countries all over the world.